Hey everyone, this is Hollander Cooper here with Blair and Craig who are working on Sins of a Dark Age, an interesting hybrid of a traditional RTS and something more akin to a multiplayer online battle arena, but it's a, a good amount different than either of those, and can you explain what makes it different? Well, we're kind of calling it a hero and commander strategy, where the hero is kind of playing the Dota type or MOBA type game, and then the commander is playing the traditional RTS, but we have all these unique mechanics and units that synergize the relationship between the two of them, and it's a completely new experience that uh, I don't think any player has seen before. All right, so the teams are going to be comprised of uh, four people playing as hero type characters and one player playing as the commander. Now, if the hero is essentially what people are used to in a Dota-like game, how is the commander actually going to interact with the world? Well, the first thing he'll be doing is he'll pump out his peons, which we're all familiar with, and he'll harvest resources, build up his structures, and pump out units. Now, those resources that he's acquiring will also be shared with the heroes, so they can buy their powerful items and whatnot. And those heroes will also be out creeping the world in the jungle and killing enemy stuff to get gold, and the commander will be getting gold for that. So they're both inextricably linked in terms of resource acquisition, and they're both incentivized to work together. So the, the commander will be producing units that complement the, the deficiencies in the hero composition. So exam for example, if you go all tanks with your heroes, the commander can build a bunch of uh, DPS units to form the rear line or vice versa if the heroes are a bunch of casters. And to not make the micromanaging that crazy, you can assign those little like squadrons to the actual yeah. heroes? Yeah, exactly. You can just click the, build the units and then right click them onto the heroes and they'll intelligently fall and fill out those roles. We kind of like to use the analogy from Sins of a Solar Empire where the, the heroes being played by humans are kind of like the capital ships of the, the, the army and then the commander's assigning fleets to those capital ships. And how does the hero side play? Well, the hero side plays uh, a little bit differently as you're going around and you're, you're, you're going to your creeps and killing them. You know that the commander has got your back. So let's say in a, an epic moment in a battle, your guy is <coughs> just about dead and uh, the hero throws down this uh, AOE spell and you're just running out of there and then you decide that, oh my God, I need some more help. He puts a speed boost on you and you can zip out of there. All right. And the game is going to be free to play. How is that actually going to work? Are you going to be able to buy power or how is that going no, to? No, no, no buying power. A absolutely anything that affects gameplay can be acquired. Yeah, you can buy it, but you can also acquire it very easily for free by acquiring virtual currency that you will not have to grind until the cows come home. It would be very easy to get access to that material. The only thing in the game that you have to pay money for is the skins and aesthetic material. Like if you want your hero to look really badass or you want to customize the look and feel of your commander's army, uh, you'll have to pay for that sort of thing. All right, cool. And when are we going to be able to actually play it? Uh, this summer we'll be going into full-scale beta and we'll be able to try out a bunch of heroes and some commanders and one faction. Thank you very much. Cool. Thank you very much.